Many churches of division is it cause of what kind of evil spirit? Aha, makanisa mengi yana migawanyiko je, ni mapepo gani hao wanaoleta migawanyiko? Yes, someone fashion. Swali la mtu hili. Now, when there are sins is always the work of Satan. Kama kuna dhambi, hiyo ni kazi ya shetani. But I will not go and say what kind of evil spirit is that? Lakini sasa siwezi yana nikaanza kuuliza Yani hao ni pepo sambuli gani? Some people would give a name a spirit of division. Ah, watu hata wamekwisha kuyapa majina ya kwamba ni roho za migawanyiko. I want to say this, demons are not divided into demons of division, demons of lust, demons of killing. I mean, they're not divided into different kinds. Nasika kusema hivi, siyo kwamba hawa mapepo wamewekwa kwenye viwango tofauti kwamba hawa ni mapepo wa kuwa, hawa ni mapepo ya migawanyiko, hawa ni mapepo ya tamaa, aa. No matter what kind of demons, you just cast them out. Yani mapepo ya yote, kila ambacho inafaka kufanya, siyo kwa upea majina, ni kwa fukuza. But very often, when people have division in church, they are not necessarily possessed by demons. Na siyo kwa mba wakati kuna migawa njiko kanisani, hawa watu wamejazwa na mapepo. So you cast out the demons of division, it might not solve the problem. Kwa hivu unapo fukuza mapepo wakuluta migawa njiko, hiyo haileti suluhu. It's their life that they need to take care of. It's their life that they need to take care of. Yani ni uzima wako ama afya yako kuhishi kwa kwa niku unu unafaa kukutunza. How they respect the church and respect the unity of the church. How watu wanati vipi umoja kanisa ni how watu wanati vipi kanisa la kuri. So this should come from teaching. Mambo haya inafaa ya tole katika mafundisho. And also a good example of the pastor. Now, mfano mzuri ni wa mtungaji. Now, the Bible does say, you know, Christians should obey the pastors in the guidance. Aha. Mani kuna sema kwa basi, washirika ama kondo na zima wakati mtungaji wao, anapotpea na mwelekeo. But the Bible also says, pastors don't control your people. Lakini pia mani kuna sema kwa mba, na njini wa chungaji, musi wabebeshe mizigo watu. Sometimes, pastors go too far by controlling the people too much. Basi kuna vipindi vingine ambao wa chunga jisisi tunaenda, tunapita mipaka ya kwamba tunataka tuwathibiti watu mahali fulani tu. Or accusing the people instead of trying to solve the problem. Ama badala ya ya kuleta suluhu sisi tumekua wakuhukumu watu. And sometimes the sin of the people who follow him. Na wakati mingi unapufanya hivyo dhambi si hawa watu sinawele zika kukwata. So he can be the fault of both sides. Kwa hivyo inaiza kuwa sasa ni matatizo ambwa yako sehemu zizi mbili. Sehemu ya mchungani na sehemu ya kanisa. So we want to listen to people and communicate and try to find out where the problem is. Ni lazima tuwe watu wa kusikiliza huyu mtu anaungea nini ili kwa mba tukandaribu kutafunda suluhu ya tatizo ambalo tunalo. It's easy for people to say that it's a fault of Satan. Ni raisi sana watu kusewa kwa mba hayo mambo ni kwa sababu ya shetani instead of saying it's our sins. Kwa hivyo kusema hayo mambo ni kwa sababu ya dhamizitu. Because when they say it's an attack of Satan that is Satan's fault. Yani sisi tunamupa shetani vitu vikini ambavyo hata hagia usika tunasema ni shetani. But if they say it's my fault then I need to take care of it. Lakini ukijua kwamba ni matatizo ni wewe mwenyewe.